Good morning and welcome. Patriot Radio News Hour. I'm Joe Jaquin, CEO of the Patriot Trading Group. And our toll-free number, 800-951-0592. The website at allamericangold.com. And welcome to Friday. What a Friday it has been. It is Jobs Friday. And I couldn't have been more wrong. Matter of fact, everybody couldn't have been more wrong. It was a huge number, but that really wasn't the news. That That's good, right? They had big jobs, which kind of, you know, like, don't see it, but okay. Uh, way, way above expectations of 528,000. Uh, the expectation was for less than half of that. Uh, you know, I was thinking 175 to two and a quarter, uh, but but really, what really was damaging was the inflation number inside of it. Uh, wages uh, much hotter than expected, uh, over five percent, five point two percent, which tells you how far behind. What you, you're, you're, even though people are getting paid more, uh, it's going uh, less and less. But then the month-over-month month number came in at half of a percent, which means, okay, wages now 6% if you annualized it uh, over the course of a year, Jason. Uh, that just means, listen, we, we are not going to be one and done in September. Uh, right now, uh, I thought September was going to be a half point, and the Fed was going to maybe pause after that. Jason, that's all off the table. Uh it could be a full point. It's it very likely could be another three quarters uh, here in a few weeks uh, that the Fed is going to raise rates. That'll bring the Fed's funds rate to 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 three percent. And really, I guess technically it'd be uh, between three and three and a quarter percent. Uh, but now I'm also saying, listen, I think we're going to get rate hikes in October. Uh, and, and, and again in December, the very good chance we're going to see a Fed funds rate of 4% plus, Jason, before the end of the year. This is how hot that inflation number was. Uh, that just means, guess what? The Fed has got a lot more work to do to get inflation under control, Jason. Right. And the, uh, the, the next rate hike is going to be the end of September. Am I correct on that? It will be. I'll get you the exact date. So, here. so there's there's going to be two CPI numbers before that. I think that's really going to be the key to how how much they raise the rates this next one. If we have, in my estimation, if we have, let's say, nine point three and nine point eight, or nine point six and nine point five, th those are the, the the next two numbers. Anything higher than nine point one? I don't know if we're going to get two or not because it's the middle of September. September twenty first would yeah. be the Wednesday. The Fed meetings would be, so it'll start Tuesday the 20th. I know we'll get one, We're gonna get but two, to your I point, it's going to be right in there, whether or not they, 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 they get that other one before this next meeting. Uh, but they'll definitely get one more, potentially two more. Yeah, I, I think they get two. And like I said, if they get, they get two bad numbers, and that's anything nine or above. Uh, your your one point could be it. I I think the Fed's whole thing this whole time, Joe, is 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 they don't want to go too fast and too far. They think that they need to do the the slow as they go. But uh, they're trying to find out the slow as they go is not working, and uh, they don't want the overreaction. But at some point, Joe, they're going to have to do the overreaction. I remember Russia uh, since the wall fell. There was a couple of times where they raised the rates like eight percent all at once because they had raging inflation. Why do I get the feeling that they're going to, at some point, if this continues to get out of their control, have to do one of those, and then it'll be an overreaction. You could have a deflationary hit, and then and that'll – I'm telling you, they're, they're, I think they've actually completely lost this thing, Joe. Yeah, it, it wasn't – uh, inside it, that inflation number – I mean, the, the jobs won, okay. Uh, I mean, it was such a huge beat. I mean, it was, it was a crazy beat. Uh, you know, they're saying, hey – we, more jobs in July than there was in June, than there was in May, than there was in April. I mean, that was kind of hard, but it really the big number inside it was the inflation number in wages way, way hotter than the Federal Reserve wanted it to be. Uh, the household, and something else, too, that was weird. Uh, the unemployment rate fell to 3.5%, but... 
according to the number here, the labor force participation rate actually got worse. So I don't know how you create over half a million jobs and then in the same time say, oh, by the way, less people are working. Uh, there was some interesting numbers inside. Uh, the amount of people working more than one job. Now, this this was something that popped up in the, the, the last jobs report. Uh, but, but they're talking about... Uh, People working more than one job shot up dramatically. Uh, and, and again, I think that kind of fits, right? People are trying to, to, to make this work. Uh, according to the numbers inside the household survey. So we'll get, you know, we're coming up on the break. But remember, there's two surveys, two different numbers. The headline jobs number, that 528, that's the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The rest of the numbers come from the household survey. And here's what was interesting inside of that. Since March, they're saying that the, uh, the jobs that we've lost 14,000, I'm sorry, 141,000 full-time jobs and have an, an increase of 78,000 part-time jobs. Uh, so the, the really big differences between what the BLS is saying as far uh, as jobs go and what's inside the household survey. But nonetheless, it's the inflation number that mattered on this one. Patriot Radio News Hour. We're going to be right back. 800-951-0592. I really thought today we were going to be talking about uh, higher highs in the gold markets, uh, but you know, to a gold's credit, it's actually hanging in there today. Uh, it's down uh, about twelve bucks, uh, seventeen seventy-eight. Uh, but but hanging in there. Silver, uh, it's down uh, just below twenty dollars. And I remember uh, the TV and all the websites now are showing December. So right now, December gold seventeen ninety-three. Uh, December silver is still over twenty dollars. But the other thing that's interesting in this report, so the household survey since March is flat. I don't think that's right because I, I, I absolutely believe we've been hiring people. Uh, but this, there's a 1.8 million job discrepancy. The labor force participation rate was a shocker that that is falling, uh, a sign that people are working more than one job. But the other thing, Jason, that doesn't add up is gasoline demand. Because they're saying uh, one of the reasons how they've gotten crude oil down is that the gasoline demand has been falling. And this is uh, information coming out of the Biden administration. There was an article yesterday, Forex Live, was questioning whether or not the gasoline demand data is truly correct. Uh, and they did some pros and cons. And, and this jobs number, if you're telling me uh, over half a million people found a job or another job, that's a lot more people driving, right? You got to go, you got to drive to work, got to drive to your other job. You got to do this and that. But uh, one of the things that they were saying, okay, on, on the, the pro side, elasticity right hey you know things go up and down uh, so maybe uh, we just got this little uh, uh, bump in the road they're, they're saying people are flying more I don't know what that means instead of driving to their destination uh, they're, they're getting on on an airplane I guess for vacations uh, but you know when you get there you need to get around so then don't you rent a car I mean I don't know uh, running on empty. So this is where they're saying, hey, the consumer, maybe they are tapped out. Uh, then they said uh, commercial pumps. And what they mean by that is the data from the EIA, they're the ones that release what gas stations are ordering, Jason. And what they're saying is, is hey, maybe all the gas, everybody's putting, uh, keeping less gas on hand uh, to, you know, to, because they don't, it's more expensive, so they're buying less. The, the tanks at the gas station maybe not as full as they've been in the past, 
than uh, a, and maybe a sign of recession. So that was on yes, the yes on the on the plus side, right? Well, Joe, that, that's what I was saying. You know, you, you've been calling for demand destruction to happen at some point, and maybe even you know really severely. Uh, t- to me, uh, if you think like a, a big corporation, which, and you're going to have some information that maybe that just doesn't get to go out to everybody else, and you say, hey, there's going to be a, 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 dr- a huge drop in demand because people aren't going to be able to afford nothing. We're going to have depressionary situations coming. And as an oil company, you're, you're talking to your government cronies because these all guys work together. They're going to take care of each other. So th- in my mind, Joe, you can sell less gas as long as you can pr- uh, uh, sell it for a higher price. So look what's happening. You have all of this uh, downward uh, uh, motion here in America. Is hey, what, uh, Joe, Joe Biden's not going to allow uh, oil production to happen. We're going to we're going to cause it that there's less oil in the reserves and less oil here. You 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 make the supply less, 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 so that when this huge reduction in use and Joe, I think there's going to be a huge reduction in use. I think this is real. You can just charge a higher price because there's still less supply. Your profits are okay. You're, you're, you're making pretty decent money when less people are going to be using it. Um, Joe, I, in my mind, there's going to be a lot of people not flying anywhere, driving anywhere. There's going to be people carpooling everything. There's going to be people uh, doing two families, three family, families to a house just to have a roof over their head. I think, you know, depression. You know, we, we, we Double depression, Joe, that means all of those things will happen. And it's okay for big corporations. You, know, you can sell less gallons as long as the price is higher. Because let's face it, if they were pumping it out full bore, Joe, in a, in a depression, what what would it be? A buck a gallon, right? Fifty cents a gallon. Now you could drop yeah, and, severely. And, and and I want to say this though. So all of those things would tell you the jobs number should have been a lot less, but it wasn't. I can explain and that then, too, Joe. I, th- I think and, I can explain well, that and, too. I I, th- then, I think people are getting jobs, Joe, because all the free money is gone. Now they have to go earn money. To pay these bills, it was free for two years. Remember that, right, Joe? I think they have yeah, to work. Yeah, but again, if, if half a million people are working, they got to use more gas. Has to be right. So I, I'm confused. I'm telling you, I, I'm really uh, perplexed here because rates are going to go a lot higher than I thought. Yes, uh, it, it, and that's that's a big change. And you're saying, well, Joe, how can one report and all of a sudden you this? That's how hot the data was. But now I want to go to the other side from Forex Live, and they're saying, hey, wait a minute, because we're going to get a big drop in energy prices, obviously, right, with gasoline, or, or for the next, Jason's talking about the next two inflation reports. I think we may be in for a rude awakening, and all of a sudden, just when we thought you got a handle on energy prices, it comes September into October. Are we going to get another shock back upward? Which, Jason, you've been saying this for a little bit now. You think that, you're, that hey, something's going to collapse, and then it's going to skyrocket back up, collapse, yes. skyrocket back up. Mm-hmm. So, so they, so first they said, hey, first the EIA's data, it's not the greatest. It's not that accurate. Major revisions are possible. Okay, but. Mm, I don't know if I buy that. Sure, they. But then they said U.S. gasoline storage. Now this one, if if truly demand is falling off, our story right. We should have a lot more gas at, in storage. It still remains at a five-year low. So they're saying, wait a minute. You're saying there's demand destruction. Why isn't there more gas in storage? Refiners are saying they see no slowdown whatsoever. I can tell you through our wholesale channels, there is no indication of any demand destruction. In June, according, these are from the refiners, in June they said they actually set records. And then they said the last, then the last one was that alternate data does not match up. As to what's going on, and they cite Gas Buddy uh, that tracks gasoline. Uh, so, Jason, I, I don't know what to. I don't know what to think of I, all I, of that. I, 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 I let's go to Ger- let's go to Germany. Rates Joe. are going higher. Let's go to Germany. Okay, you can produce more oil if you eliminate all your nuclear, because oil, if you take away nuclear, I mean, they, what is it? Seventeen nuclear plants they took down. They have like six more. They're going to get rid of all of them by the end of the year. Well, they got to come up with the energy somewhere, Joe. And why do I have a feeling? Well, that'll just be, you know, what they call fossil fuels or natural gas, everything, or coal, right, Joe? 
they're going to create a shortage that doesn't belong in energy so that the prices can stay at, at a reasonable level for these companies. And, uh, and, and the whole depressionary thing can happen, and these companies will be okay. You know, they'll, they'll destroy the competition, Joe. The, any of the smaller companies, they're, they're, just, they're not going to exist in this country in the next few years, Joe. There's going to be so little choices compared to what we even have now, which is not very much. Yeah, I, 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 I am truly, truly baffled uh, here today. Uh, as to what is uh, what it, what's going on in, in the inflation number inside the the uh, the wage inflation was off the charts. Uh, if these jobs numbers are to believe, and, and and again, I mean, they're they're the number that that we've always been using. Uh, and if half a million people found a job or or, or another job. That, that has to lead to more gasoline demand, uh, which means oil prices, you know, like today, oil's rallying today, obviously. Uh, it, I just think all of a sudden I was convinced we probably would only get to about 3% Fed, Fed's funds rate. All that's off the table now. I, I think rates are going to go uh, considerably higher than that, which which makes the risk that we, we keep warning about this double Great Depression makes the risk so much worse. Uh, the the Fed is it's not working right now. According to this jobs data, the interest rate hikes are not working, Jason. Right. They're gonna have to, they're gonna have to go more. Let, let's look at the, what uh, I, I keep talking about June, uh, the June number that's gonna be twenty twenty three that the New York Fed chief was talking about. Uh, the the twenty twenty one CPI uh, for, for uh, twenty twenty one over twenty twenty was five point four and then the June number was nine point one. Well, that's fourteen and a half percent, and he's saying six point eight for June twenty twenty three. That's twenty something percent from twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty three. They're low yeah. numbers, Joe. They are. Yeah. They have. A, there's a major problem. I think people will have no idea across the world how bad things are going to get. If the prices, everything could really just get really. I, I don't think Weimar Republic, Joe, but we're going to have some low stage of hyperinflation with a deflationary cycle. It's, it's going mean, to be you, tremendous. You think about Jay, Jay Powell was talking about the economy slowing down. This number says it's not. This number says it's not. And and again, uh, the bond market, what a mess. Uh, we are talking in, uh, yield the, the steepening inversion of the yield curve right now. It's incredible. Uh, the 10-year note at 285. So think about that. That's actually... Higher, it's the highest it's been in weeks, but the two-year note, Jason's now at three and a quarter. Yeah, Jack, Joe, Joe, just over the last what six months or so, eight months or so, Japan and China have dumped a billion dollars in holdings in treasuries. Uh, we could have a deflationary cycle worth inflation, you know, which is kind of sound, kind of a it sounds like an oxymoron. But if those dollars keep coming back here, because you know the countries are getting you know, Russia, China, the BRIC nations, they're going to dump dollars. And the only thing you can buy, you know, if you can't, if, you, if Russia can't give their dollars to China, if China can't give their dollars to Japan, well, then they're going to buy stuff here, which is going to cause a, a, an a uncontrollable inflationary situation. I think that's what the Fed's trying to stop. It's like, hey, here comes all the foreign money. What are we going to do? And I think it's all coming here. I think property prices could stay up. Just the fact that Chinese uh, owners of these treasuries, like, well, let's go, let's go. We can't buy anything else with it. Let's go buy American properties because our property market is disintegrating. The Chinese uh, property, you know, their 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 uh, housing situation, Joe. There is is nuts. YouTube is is banning videos of any protests to their their mortgage crisis in China. So this thing is huge. I, the Evergrande stuff we we were uh, covering. The reason we're not seeing news about it is because China is forcing YouTube to ban the videos of of hundreds of these these protests going on all over China. To not pay your mortgages, Joe. This sixty-eight uh, uh, was it twenty-nine trillion dollars in their property, and it's all melting down at the same time, Joe. It's it's, it's all it's all together, Joe. It's, we, we could, we're going to be seeing things next year that we've never seen in the markets, Joe. It's it's going to like I say, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Uh, insider selling on Wall Street. Uh, is is skyrocketed over this rally. So remember, I said, uh, and I told you, listen, expect stocks to rally in July, and they've done it. Uh, but now uh, some data points coming out saying that the insiders 
are dumping stock at the fastest pace here, yep. uh, uh, selling into these rallies. So the, obviously there's things that they're seeing. And, and, and again, based on this number today, rates got to go a lot higher. That, that, I mean, that's all there is to it. You, you cannot have wage inflation of half of a percent every month, month after month, uh, and not be forced to raise rates significantly higher. This matter of fact, this number has just flown in the face of everything the Fed has been saying about, hey, it's started to work, it's started to work. Uh, the number was way, way above expectation. And then the inflation was way worse. Matter of fact, it's the worst wage inflation print we've seen yet. Everybody better buckle up. It's going to be a crazy, crazy ride. When we get back, we got a silver item that we've never, ever run before. All you Trump fans, stay tuned. 800-951-0592. Patriot Radio News Hour. Joe and Jason on this Friday. Wow. I'm just, I, I am stunned. Uh, it, and I, you know, listen, I do take this seriously. This is what I do. This number was not good. I, I mean... Obviously, we want people working. That's great. Uh, but nothing else about this number it was what the Fed wanted to see. And, and again, rates are going to be much higher. Yep. I, 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 I just firmly believe this right now. I think we're going to see 75 basis points uh, in, in September. Uh, and, and, and if we keep getting data like this, uh, we're going to be raising rates for a lot longer uh, but uh, I just got an email, and uh, we're, we're, we're getting an opportunity here. Uh, this is an item. We've never done this before. This is a Donald Trump silver rounds. Uh, we're going to sell them rolls of 20 twenty. dollars $620 for a roll. Let me describe it to you. So on, on the what we'll call the head side of the coin. It's the side profile of Trump. And and they've done some really cool work. Obviously, they, 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 they've, they've got some different coatings on here. Uh, but it's the side profile, the bus shot of Trump. On the left side, 45. On the right side, 47. On the rim, around uh, going around the side profile, it says, Return of the Great MAGA King 2024. So obviously the 45th president, 47th president is what I'm assuming uh, for the 45 and the 47. And like I said, they got some, it's re it really is popping here. Uh, they did some really nice work uh, with the toning on the tail side. It says Trump 2024, that it has three stars, and it has like a big, uh, like a stripe that says Ultra MAGA, it, and then it's got the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the U.S. flag like it's waving in the air. A uh, really cool coin. Uh, if you're one of those Trump guys, uh, here's an opportunity uh, to get yourself some silver, a lot cheaper than Silver Eagles. They're, they're, they're neat looking. Uh, they're 620 bucks a roll at 800 951 And Jason, same thing on the back. A, a, a lot of, uh, they did a And everyone who comes in and meets with me in Colorado, you see the, 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 the silver on the desk. I always have, you know, uh, instead of giving you ten bucks back, I'd rather give you a half dollar. You know, I, I, why, why give change? Get more medals in your pocket. So I always have uh, for the customer some extra to buy, plus selling. You know, it's just you know, plus selling in your and it goes to your advantage. Uh, at one time, I had a big stack of these Trump coins that had come in, some copper ones. Copper ones have you know that's just a collectible, and and silver ones, they didn't last at all. So even if you're not a Trump guy, you always got to think. Well, at some point, I may have to sell this stuff. Well, there is a lot of people that love Trump, Joe. So there's a, this is a very easy way to resell these to fa family, friends, uh, acquaintances, coworkers. Listen, they, they'd just be neat to hand out to, to you know, you got uh, buddies that like Trump. The, it's a cool-looking coin, and there's a ton of them out there. There's all kinds of different Trump coins out there. Uh, this one is 
it's one of the best ones I've seen. Yeah, so that's it's. I have. I'm not against a, a, a one, any one ounce silver rounds out there. I mean, it's, it, you're getting an ounce of silver. Anytime you can have a few extra bells and whistles, uh, you know, I love. I love the uh, the assumption of uh, President uh, Number Forty Seven. I, I just it's it's pretty. It's a pretty smart right, idea. Right, pretty smart right, idea. Joe. Smart idea. Uh, and, and again, the, just the look of the coin. The, his little bust, his side profile bust. Uh, it, it's it's really well done. And uh, return of the great MAGA King 2024. Uh, it, it, it's it's just a cool design. So there you go. I, I thought I'd put them out there. It's something different. It's always good to get something different. And uh, uh, check them out. Six hundred and twenty bucks. So uh, silver rounds. It's, that works out to thirty one dollars. So uh, it, it's a lot less expensive uh, than, than the silver eagles and whatnot. It's actually less expensive than the junk silver right now. Uh, so right now, at least from us, uh, this is the cheapest silver we have. Absolutely, Joe. Absolutely. Give us a call. Buy these things. 800-951-0592. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think we'll do well with these. That's, that's very cheap silver to, to get your hands on today. Joe, I wanted to uh, give a comment as you were talking about the craziness of what's going on. Uh, on Faking the Truth yesterday, I was digging up some of my – I used to print up a lot of my uh, good stories, stuff that went well on the radio, and I would print it up after the show because, like, hey, this is something I can go back to. And this is something I printed up that was just a couple of months into me and Brian being on the radio. This was in uh, May of 2018. And I'm not going to read the whole thing, but there's two lines at the end. This is Zero, zero Hedge. Zero Hedge. At the end, they're, they're, they're kind of putting a cap on this article. It says, it's a financial death spiral. Now listen to what they say here. It's, it's interesting, Joe. It's a financial death spiral. Think about it. If the government is having this much trouble making ends meet when they're paying 2%, that was the, the Fed rate, interest on $21 trillion, What's going to happen when they're paying five percent on thirty trillion? Pretty, pretty uh, incredible uh, prediction there uh, in two thousand eighteen, Joe. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, and and again, uh, the news today uh, this this firms up. Uh, we're going to see more rate hikes. Uh, we're definitely going to uh, September. Uh, they're not raising twenty five points. That's out uh, right now. If I was to guess right now, and again. We, we still have, to, to Jason's point here, we still got five weeks uh, before uh, the announcement is made. Uh, but barring some huge, uh, I guess, horrible reports, and we're only going to get one more jobs report, and, and, and listen, we're not going to go from 525,000 or 528,000 to, to zero. Uh, Jason, I think we're probably going to see 75, and then October, which I thought that we would maybe take a pause. We're raising in October. I think we're going to raise in December. What if the C- That's how hot this number is. What if the CPI hits 10% uh, coming up in a week or two? Then then what does that number have to be, Joe? I mean, that, that's you know, we don't know what that CPI number is going to be. You know, it's We're living in times where the, the things are happening that they have have no answers for, Joe. Yeah, and I think the 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 headline CPI number may come in a little better, but they don't care about that number, remember, because they strip out food and energy, and energy, uh, gas prices have been falling. But to Jason's point, out, looks like it's going to be much hotter than what I was thinking just literally three hours ago. And that just means rates got to go a lot higher. Donald Trump rounds. There's two lines open. Get them while you can. 620 bucks. 800 951 We'll be right back. 800-951-0592. The Donald Trump rounds. Uh, just a great looking coin here. Uh, $620. Please be patient. We will get to you in the order that you've called. Uh, Connie's the only one here. Uh, Arlene's on vacation. Uh, she's back at the Jersey Shore. You know, Ar- Arlene's a Jersey girl. She goes back every summer. Uh, and then Brittany, uh, Brittany's husband, uh, one of, he's one of my really good friends. He is a huge Red Hot Chili Pepper fan. And I guess they're they're in Vegas. The Chili Peppers are in Vegas, so they uh, they left for for Vegas this morning. Uh, so we're a little short staffed here, but Connie will get to you. Eight hundred 
nine five one zero five nine two uh the donald trump uh twenty twenty four maga uh kind of foreshadowing him becoming president once again really super looking coin jason yeah, boy, by 2024, Joe, who knows uh, <laughs> what direction the country will be in. And uh, maybe that's what the powers that be are going to need. They're going to need a, a businessman Trumpite to come in and so-called clean up the mess that they already created, yeah. right? You know, it's, you know. uh, and I, I'm going to tell you, I missed this here. Uh, I was wrong. This was, this was a scary number because it just says at least as far – uh, as inflation goes, and like Jason said, listen, the the inflation data that's going to come out, it's not about the headline number, which I think the headline number, it's still going to be really high, but I think it could come down a little bit because of gas prices, maybe. The problem is the inflation that the Fed cares about looks like, Jason, it's going to be much higher than I thought, uh, which means a lot more rate hikes. Uh, like I said, right now, if I'm betting on it, I'm thinking 75, 50, 50. So that means 75 in September, 50 in October, 50 in, in December. Uh, that would put the Fed's funds rate uh, between four and four and a quarter percent. And Jason, if that's not enough, listen. We could see uh, the New York Fed was saying, hey, don't be shocked if we see 6% uh, by midsummer next year. I thought that was outrageous. I uh, didn't give it any credence. i got to give it credence right now. Well, yeah, Joe, at the beginning of the year, they, 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 uh, started, uh, to, they stopped printing money, adding to their balance sheet, the Fed. And then they, uh, they are starting to try, to try to cut the balance sheet. And we're having higher inflation numbers while they're doing that. That's not supposed to happen, Joe. So I, I'm going to keep going back to it. Dollars are coming into this country that they can't control. Hey, I'm China, and I can't buy anything anywhere else with these dollars. This is supposed to be the world reserve currency. I'll just go, you know, I'll go buy uh, into, a, you know, those warehouses are full of stuff, Joe. Why are they packing the warehouses full of stuff? Well, because there's dollars showing up here. I guess someone's expecting this stuff to be purchased, Joe. So, I mean. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, the Dow's down down today. Uh, gold's off, but hanging in there. Uh, crude oil's higher, and again, uh, this is not great, right? We're, any chance for a soft landing? The Fed needs to stop raising rates sooner rather than later. Uh, and this is just this to me. This says they're not. They haven't made any progress yet. That that's what it says. That's what this inflation data inside this number says to me, Jason. I'll give you got to give them some credit. The, the rates are higher, so they're doing some. I mean, what can you imagine if we were still at zero? So, so obviously they, they have some sort of a plan. I, I don't think these guys are dumb, Joe. I think they know. They have all the information. I just think there's a problem that's so big that uh, their so-called soft landings very be very hard to sell unless they do it in a very specific way. Uh, we don't make the decisions, Joe. Something's happening. They 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 have an answer for it. I just think it's going to be a lot of pain and suffering by everybody. I think Wall Street's going to have a ton of pain and suffering. They're going, they're going to sacrifice Wall Street uh, to get what they want, Joe, and that, I mean, that is to save their system. It's all about the system, Joe. They've got to keep the Federal Reserve System in place. They, uh, they will be self-concerned here in the next year to, to make sure that they're still in power uh, when the dust all settles, Joe. Yeah, and I'm just, uh, you know, the bond market is – it's scary as this yield curve keeps steepening. Uh, right now, like I said, the the two year note three and a quarter. I mean, uh, think about this: five weeks from today, are we going to be talking about a, a two year note potentially yielding four uh, percent? The the minimum payments on credit cards are going to be much higher than I thought they were going to be. Uh, auto loans are going to be much, much higher than I thought they were going to be. And already they're saying even leases now, all-time record high, $600 a month on car payments and, and rising. Uh, this also means housing affordability. Jason, it's going to take another be much higher than what I thought they were going to be. And it's a crazy to think about 
all of this happening in less than three hours. Yeah. We might end up with the biggest yield uh, inverted yield curve ever. How about that? <laughs> the worst yield curve ever, Jim. Yeah, the, the, the steepest inverted yield curve. That is a very, very real uh, possibility here. Uh, if you're just joining us, the jobs number came in. I mean, it. when you talk about blew out, no, it, nobody was even close on this thing. Uh, huge job creation, yet the labor force participation rate went down. It, and then the other side was was the actual wage inflation skyrocketing uh, much, much hotter uh, than, than it was just a month ago, uh, which has got everybody thinking, okay, that, fre- that Fed pause, most likely not happening. Pizza Radio News Hour, the phone lines just cleared up, 800-951-0592, the Trump rounds at 620. 800-951-0592, final segment, a, a stunned Joe Jake went today uh, as the of the jobs number uh, got significantly worse, uh, which is really got everything unsettled uh and on top of that china uh, announcing the following they are canceling china u.s theater commanders talk they are canceling the u.s china defense policy coordination talks they are canceling the china u.s military uh, maritime consultative agreement meetings They are suspending all cooperation on the repatriation of illegal immigrants. They're suspending all cooperation on legal assistance in criminal matters. They are suspending cooperation against transnational crimes. They're suspending uh, counter-narcotics cooperation. Obviously, all the fentanyl that's coming in from China. And then last but not least, Jason, they're suspending all talks on climate change. Well, you know, we just covered the uh, the little uh, Nancy Pelosi visit and how that would benefit her. You know, they're buying U.S. chips that are going to be produced here soon uh, from U.S. companies because uh, there's going to be a chip ban coming from China. And if China goes marching into Taiwan and stops letting those Taiwan chips come here, uh, th- yeah, home run hit for her, right, Joe? This is uh, this is why yeah, it's it's rigged, Joe. You talk about cleaning it up. I mean. Get- if China just blockaded Taiwan, that'd be a huge problem. Yeah, you, you yep. think, there you go. You think we don't have cars now? Wait till you see what would happen without those Taiwan. Today we've got this unique item, the Donald Trump silver. Now there's a lot of different Trump rounds. This one, though, uh, is, is the best one I've seen on the head side. Uh They've got a circle, a thin circle going around uh, the coin that says return of the great MAGA King 2024, the side profile of it has 45 on the 47, obviously uh, hypothesizing that Donald Trump's going to run again and become president, the 45th and the 47th president. And then on the back. Trump 2024, it's got three stars, a big stripe that says Ultra MAGA, and then, of course, the the waving uh, U.S. flag. And they've done a lot of cool things uh, with the polishes, Jason, to give it a lot of uh, depth and texture to it as well. Yeah, so you got a cool obverse and a cool reverse, and and, uh, and just a quality silver round. And, and at the price, what was it? Six hundred twenty bucks for a roll, Joe. Six hundred twenty bucks for a roll. That's thirty one dollars at eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Like I said, there's a lot of Trump rounds out there. None of them as cool as this one. Not even close uh, that I've seen. So uh, take advantage here. Eight hundred nine five one. 0592 and obviously tough way to end a Friday here gold's off 15 1774 silver's down 30 cents uh the dow is down across the board uh the only thing up today bond yields 
and oil. And you know what? Hey, uh, we had Joey on earlier this week. He called it. He said, get out of bonds. He's taken all of his clients out of bonds. Uh, boy, Jason, that sure looks like he made a great call. That's correct. That's why you listen to the Patriot Trading News Hour. It's uh, got to get the information that's uh, unfiltered and as truthfully as we call it. 800 951 0592. 